Hi everyone, Sidere Knight here. Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. So I forgot that what the aged gentleman will teach you is different every time you visit. <laughs> Today he wants to teach us healing requests. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? It will cost 6,500 EXP to learn healing request. I will gladly take this. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. So there's that. Now we have healing request. I'll show you what we can do when we get to the next battle. Which probably will be this episode? Not 100% sure. But we're going to visit the training field real quick. Spend the rest of the EXP. We'll level up the engineers and pour the rest in the scout. You're better than potential out of the engineers that's good all right let's begin chapter five the collodin if i'm remembering that right wildwood severing the supply line Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood? I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. <laughs> oh, Welkin. That's why we enjoy having your company so much. <laughs> but, who knows? Maybe Welkin is right. I, I really enjoy Welkin's positive outlook, and I try to share that with him, too. I try to stay positive about things. Next, Maximilian and the Triumph... Triumphry? Used to say triumphant, but anyway. Time to meet the other side.
Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it, swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden Basin supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. <laughs> So, we've now met the generals in charge of each of the, I guess you could say, three-pronged attack against Gallia. You have the one leading in the north, Gregor, the one leading the central, Savaria, and the one leading the southern, which is Jaeger. I really like, I usually don't like one shoulder pad, but Jaeger having that skull there, that's pretty cool. And since he's going to go help out the southern forces in Cloden, you can imagine we just might see him soon. A path uncovered. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these, some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long-beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. So smart, Welkin. There are those... You know, his background... I love that... That the story uses his background. 
to help him be a really good commander. Yeah, you know, everybody just be like, eh, whatever, you know, goat droppings. So what? Well, it sees him and goes, wait a minute. You know, why are these here? And then sees the trampled down grass. Hey, there's a path we could take. Just thank you, Welkin. Countless tiny losses. That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang, back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. So remember we learned, thanks to Miss Ellet, that Rosie did sing. And you said, you know, people used to come from all around, you know, the area to hear her sing. Well, now you get a little taste why. I mean, she's got a good voice. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air. Mind? It's... a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Even all the way out here, the war is still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! The official mascot of Squad 7. <laughs> it's happening. And also, it's part of the militia. Like Welkin said, every Gallian has the right to join. So there you go. You are now the official, uh, the the official mascot of Squad Seven. <laughs> but it just goes to show that when war happens, it's not just the armies that lives are lost. Everything around them is disrupted and changed, and all kinds of lives and lo lives are lost along with livelihoods. Sometimes that gets missed in everything. Wildwood Warfare at Cloden. Now we're already halfway through the episode, so this combat will, will more than likely be part of this episode and then part of next episode. But kind of get used to that as we go further in. I won't be as used to doing these battles. I'm used to doing the beginning battles over and over again. I just remember them more clear than further battles. Therefore, they'll take longer. The enemy supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head-on with your tank, while foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. 
Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Tread carefully. I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. You should be able to see them, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will mean major damage. An engineer can dismantle a landmine by approaching it and pressing the A button when the command appears. Be very careful when you do that. You don't want the engineer accidentally stepping on the mine. Also, remember a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. These small anti-personnel mines aren't going to scratch the tank. And that's another way to clear the road. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on the larger anti-tank mines unharmed. They won't trigger. At least in this world, they won't trigger. <laughs> but a tank will take tread damage, and a lot of it. Be careful. You'll be able to tell the difference. The picture you see here on the left, that's a uh, anti-personnel mine. The anti-tank mine will be quite a bit larger, and I believe it's uh, more reddish instead of green. So keep an eye out. An engineer can disable both. We've heard word that enemy backup is approaching even now. Get out there and claim that base. Fast. Any base is captured, and the same failures as we're used to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the advice. Uh, let's take... We'll take Dallas as our engineer. We're going to put her up front. She's going to be clearing the road. Also up front, let's take... Vice, Child of Nature. Uh, Child of Nature will work really well out here in the wild, in the wildwood. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll also take Alicia to kind of scout the way and we have the tank over here so let's let's take another take another shock trooper we'll take Nina now the other side is going to be taking more of a woodland path over here, we're going to take Rosie. We'll take another scout to look, to look around. We'll take, uh... Oh, we'll take Susie. We'll take Catherine, and just in case, we'll take, uh... We'll take Largo along. I can't remember which side I'll have really good shots. Because I think I remember having uh, one side get some pretty good shots with the sniper. We'll go with that. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! Tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. About team attacks. Sometimes, when units near allies attack, those allies would join in with supporting fire. Good that we have, uh, have this going on. Up to three units can team up, and their support fire comes at no CP cost. The engineer squad each have specific other members they like especially well. These are the likes that we've seen, that you've seen under each character. They like certain people. Teaming up with those units will result in an exceptionally powerful attack. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies can be a, a smart way to defeat them, because crouching enemies are harder to beat because you can't get the uh, critical hits, remember? However, 
Bunching up your team attacks can leave your soldiers open to powerful area attacks from grenades and mortars. Know when to group up for offense and when to stay spread out for defense. Now along with that general that general consensus, no, not consensus, that's the wrong word. Along with that general idea, in this stage you'll want to be pretty careful. It'll be the first time you'll this is the first time you'll be seeing a lot of uh, a lot of things such as mines. We have more lancers here. Here's a medium tank. Medium tanks are bigger than the light tanks, obviously. They have more HP and they generally do more damage. Watch out. Now the first thing we're going to do... Is we're going to take a look around. There's a mine. You can see it right there. So be careful. If you use the D-pad, I believe it's the same way if you play this on the uh, PS3. There's also a way to do it in... Uh, also a way to do it with just keyboard controls or however you're playing the game. There's a walk, there's a run, which is normally what you do, but there's also a walk thing. There's an anti-tank cannon that can fire across the way. We don't want this around, obviously. Uh, this is also a new unit, anti-tank cannon. There are two ways to take out an anti-tank cannon. You can A, just blow it up. B, it has a soldier on it. You can just take out the soldier. Both of which we'll see. What we're going to do now is... You can depend on me. We'll move uh, Susie up. I've located the enemy. Sighting! See what that one does. Well, now we're going to move here to see what's, what's on the other side. Oh, just, I, perf I, I perfectly blocked the way. Wow. Huh. That's something. I didn't think I did. Great. <laughs> well, we're moving Rosie again then. Anti-tank gunnery reported on the north bank. We're in danger while it remains, Welks. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Which we will try to do. Let's see what we have here. We have a scout. That should be easy enough to kill. And here's the anti-tank cannon. Taking out the anti-tank cannon itself isn't all that difficult. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Enemy sighted. But we're going to get close, just to make sure. Go away. Can't have that anti-tank cannon there. So you see, you can shoot the cannon itself or the person on it. Either way, the thing dies. Now, we're going to take this real fast. That's why I'm using Rosie quite a bit. This will... This will stop them from... It'll, it'll stop the anti-tank cannon. They have one less CP now. They won't be able to summon reinforcements from this base to help them. It just all goes in our favor taking this base fast. Enemy camp taken. Now from here, we're going to have Rosie stand guard. And we'll continue with uh, Team 1. We see a couple of Lancers. My turn, okay? Let's have Alicia scout the road a little bit. That's what our scouts are there for. Now you see, there's a uh, mine there. See how it has a little bit of red in it? And it's a little bigger? Those are the anti-tank mines. And we also have this piece of wood in the way. Now the Edelweiss can get rid of, of the uh, this blockade pretty easily. Please hit. 
as you see, you can't just blow up an anti-tank mine. Which is interesting, because you may be thinking, Oh, well, I just blow it up with something. Why do I necessarily need an engineer? Well, this is why. Entering combat. So let's go ahead and move the Edelweiss up, and be careful of the mines. go it's as far as we're gonna get there's the medium tank I don't know if Welkin will be able to hit it but it's better than just there's no reason not to fire especially if there will be no counterattack there's no counterattack the can't the tank can't counter with the main gun no reason not to fire because it's not like you lose a CP for firing or gain a CP if you don't fire hit a tree hit something it really doesn't matter now, so the Edelweiss can move forward without without fear. We'll send Dallas up. Because knowing my luck, I'll accidentally turn into it. Make, make no doubt. That'll happen. Disarm. As soon as you see disarm, press A, and that's that. Now, as you can see, there's more mines up ahead. But engineers don't take damage very well. So we're going to hide behind the Edelweiss. And for our last move, we're going to need some shock trooper support up here. here I go. We'll bring Nina up. And that'll do it for our first turn. And this is why I left, uh, why I left Rosie there. Oh, I think Susie took a, took a pot shot. Nice. And you see there are troops shuffling around in the base. You actually hit one, you actually hit the Edelweiss, and two, you hit the treads. You've got to be joking. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's some terrible luck. About evasion. When being attacked, units will sometimes duck under enemy fire and avoid damage. Now, we've seen this a few times. This is called evasion, and can be negated by attacking from the target's rear. Attacks from behind also cause the target to panic, causing to slightly lower leading to slightly lower accuracy during their counterattack. This is yet another reason to always guard your own back while actively trying to circle around your foes. Some really good advice there. Well, that went terrible. Now you can see the Edelweiss's AP is near nothing. That's because the treads got shot. To fix that, we're going to have uh, Dallas here change to the engineer's tool. Target the Edelweiss. Thank you. And there you go. Now that's sadly the engineer's turn. You can still run up. You can still uh, disarm mines, things like that. We'll move her forward a little bit because I'm going to end up moving the Edelweiss anyway. Well, that went pretty poor, honestly. Let's get Catherine moving. Now, you say, oh, you could just shoot across the river. Well, there's a problem. There's the fence in the way. But you could see the stuff. You could see, like, the Lancers, the medium tank. There's a scout over there. You can see that there's things over there, but you don't have a clear shot. Should have sent Catherine with the other group because the other group should be able to fire across the way at the Lancers. Better luck next time. Entering combat. 
Okay. Also, maybe should have brought a, uh... Ah! Why it does that? Also, I should have brought a, uh, Lancer over here. Hi, medium tank. I see it takes four shots to kill, plus the Lancer's here. So they've heavily guarded this area. However, your second group here, can you see that there's kind of a path that leads around? That's extremely helpful. You could bring a Lancer around. It really helps. Here I go. Duh, you're s oh, duh. well, I don't have really good chance. There you go. Did you hear the, the whole uh, let me help? And you see up at the top right how it says the Edelweiss? That's Welkin giving uh, support fire. If Alicia's firing near the Edelweiss, you can almost count on support fire. <laughs> kind of a thing, you know. Leave it, to me. it happens a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. We're gonna do, we're gonna heal Alicia. Thank you. We'll move our engineer up. In the current action. Now we're gonna have to take out some of this. We have to take out the Lancers, something. Or the Edelweiss might not make it through. Taking a shot from everything. Could be a problem. Moving out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move Alicia forward. Ah, not dodging. See, I'll cover you, Alicia. And that Lancer dies miserably. Team attacks help you out a lot. You please use them to your advantage. Getting that extra firepower from the Edelweiss or from from a shock trooper can help out a lot. Now we'll just do that for the other side here. You're not crouching. Good! Agreed. Alright. Now, unfortunately, the troops are grouped up. I understand that. But, more than likely, it's not going to fire the, uh... The mortar. It's going to want to damage the Edelweiss itself. Also, this shock trooper over here, I'm not too comfortable with having you around. Ah, don't hit the monster. Ah! I can't feel. Like I said, don't hit the mine. Could have swore that I went across. Did I not go around the mine? So sometimes the mine has a bigger area than you not expect, but... It just has a bigger area than the actual mine itself. See, there's it actually hitting the Edelweiss. Oh, I, I, so one, I hate the mines for that. That's why I really like disarm the mines. Man, I get to fire back. Almost. Mine, you want to move again? Don't worry, we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, that trooper there. And we'll revive Catherine. You can depend on me. Medic. Got to help. 
she will. And that's why we don't like, uh, why we don't like mines. Goodbye. Okay, I went to Shock Trooper. All right, uh, with that, I've located the enemy. we're going to go take a look around. So you can see, you kind of have a back road here. And another anti-tank cannon. Thank you, Sighting Scout. <laughs> now, I want the anti-tank cannon being shown. You're not facing it. Is this the one you're seeing? Well, now we know there's an additional... An yeah, it is. The sight line. Follow the sight line. Now we know there's an anti-tank cannon there. This is a scout's main point. Eyes like a hawk. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this episode here. I don't want the episode going on too long. This battle still has quite a bit to go. Next time we're going to finish this fight and hopefully things will go better. We'll need to destroy this medium tank, re-repair the Edelweiss. Having a Lancer over here would have helped. Help save some, uh, some AP instead of using the Edelweiss three more times. Oh well. That's the downside of the Edelweiss is the two CP every time. But... Uh, we'll make do. So next time, we'll finish up this battle. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Till the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.